All the project related components, including module, sensor, microcontroller, everything is available there. What if they don't have any bad equipment? If that particular component is not available, order it and they'll get it to you. If I can't complete it though. Super question, Ra. That's the highlight. They will even develop the project, those who are struggling to make the project. Super, Ra. All engineering students just visit Modern Electronics. Check it out, Modern Electronics. Link given in the description. Millions of people are suffering from muscular weakness and paralysis. Small movement like lifting an elbow becomes a challenge. Physiotherapy is a slow, not accessible and it's a painful process. My mother, the strongest person in my life, suddenly she couldn't lift her hand anymore. And later we come to know that she had a no damage in her elbow. I see every day she was struggling and smiling. Still she does the job. As a son, I want to do something for her. So I made a decision to do something which brings what she lost. So called Mario Assist. A wearable exoskeleton arm made up of PLA. Literally it has only two functions. So whenever my mom lifts something, EMG sensor detects some strain. So servo comes in. Whenever she is not lifting anything, the power to the servo becomes cut off. This is designed to assist whenever we need it. Before we get started, let me show you how it works using this cardboard. After testing the idea with cardboard, I created a 3D model and I printed it. Later I even 3D printed a mechanism especially for this moving part. Alright, now I am going to assemble the 3D printed parts with the ball bearing. Here comes our first problem. The belt is rotating but the pulley isn't. That's because this pulley doesn't have any teeth. So now let's 3D print a new pulley with proper teeth. Now let's begin modeling the base part of the forearm. And here is the printed part. Now the issue is that the already printed bicep base and forearm base are fitting together. But they are not rotating freely. So I printed a new bicep base with more flexibility than the previous one. Now let's assemble the entire setup from scratch. I 3D printed a custom covering plate. Now let's move on to the gripper mechanism. And this is how the custom made gripper looks. This is the position where we need to attach the gripper to the servo motor and then mount it on the Mayo assist base. Now I just dumped the basic servo code to check whether it is moving in the perfect angle or not. And this is so called PCA9685 which is the motor driver we will be using in the Mayo assist. Meanwhile let's begin the process of modeling the forearm gripper part of this project once again. This is how it looks, but there is where the main problem started. Two of the servo motor gear failed. So I ended up spending nearly 1500 to buy 12 metal gear servos just to ensure this wouldn't happen again. And now this is what I have achieved. The grippers are much stronger with the metal gear servos installed. At the same time I finished printing the battery holder base and the gripper part for the top layer of the bicep. Now let's begin assembling the entire sub assembly onto the myo assist body. The three grippers looks very satisfying and sturdy. Before jumping into the fourth gripper part, let's complete the brain of the Mayo Assist project. This is Arduino Nano, which acts as the brain. I've soldered it together with the MOSFET. As I explained earlier, the main function of Mayo Assist work through the MOSFET. This soldering process is shown here. You can use this drawing as a reference for soldering. Finally, I completed the soldering part, including two buttons. Meanwhile, I also 3D printed the holder for the EMG sensor's battery. And this is the EMG sensor. So this is how the EMG sensor battery holder will be placed in the Mayo Assist body. Alright, it's time for the test drive. As I press the button, the gripper of the Mayo Assist should activate. This is so satisfying for me. After 20 days of hard work. Now I permanently fix the buttons onto the Mayo Assist board. After that, I begin modeling for the new cover part for the brain setup. This is how we are going to cover the brain. Even this wire we are going to cover. And now, the semi-final part of the Mayo Assist is done. The fourth gripper has been successfully attached to the skull section of the Mayo Assist. So this is how it's going to be placing there. 
Unfortunately, I couldn't use a battery, so I went with the voltage booster, which increased and decreased the voltage respectively depending upon the requirement. And with that, we are finally wrapping up the making of my assist. And now it's time to upload the code and bring my assist to life. This is it. After everything, the struggles, the failure, the long night, it all comes down to the moment. I don't know if it will work or not, but I'm praying it does. Wearing this was truly a wonderful and emotional experience. Feeling it moves in a sink with intention was something I can't quite describe. However, still one challenge. The mechanical movement is a bit stiff. As the servo motor is currently too tight. But this is just the beginning. In the future, I'm definitely work on improving and upgrading it for the smoother motion. And now with a heart full of hope and gratitude. It's time to place this creation in the hands of the one who inspired every step of this journey. Now I am gently placing the EMG sensor on my mother's forearm to detect her muscle activity. I'm carefully fitting the device onto her hand. I begin how the device functions. When her muscle contract, the ENG sensor picks it up and the signals the servo. I am assisting her in trying her first movement with the sound. She attempts to move by herself. But slowly it starts working. I explained the internal process, how the signal flows from the muscle to the sensor, then to the motor. I guide her gently on how to move while wearing this device. Now I slowly remove the myo assist from her arm. <laughs> 